Former Pinellas County drug detective's dramatic fall to rock bottom. Fired, the sheriff says, for trying to pawn his department gun and stealing painkillers on the job. 10 News reporter Kendra Conlin explains how the deputy's addiction cost him everything. You got a guy that has been destroyed because of his addiction to oxycodone. Sheriff Bob and Gualtieri says drugs are what Deputy Stephen Smith had worked to get off the street as a narcotics detective, but painkillers are what just ended his career. He was trying to mask it and hide it. Of course, we knew there was a problem. Hired with the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office in 2012, his personnel file shows Smith's downward spiral, missing court hearings, reports, and shifts, leaving his shotgun in his squad car. Two crashes and 34 cases as a drug detective without proper paperwork. When written reprimands and suspension didn't work, he landed on desk duty here at the Dunedin North substation. It's where a woman came in to drop off oxycodone pills after her sister's death. The sheriff says instead of Smith destroying them, he's caught on camera swiping an estimated 300 pills. Smith admitted to us that he has a drug problem. An addiction, the sheriff says, started with a back injury and spiraled out of control. The sheriff believes Smith may have been living out of his squad car and desperate for money, says Smith sold his department-issued Glock to this Newport Ritchie pawn shop. You know, you're having to lie and cover up. Part of a pain pill epidemic, Footprints Beachside Recovery Center founder John Templeton says he treats far too often in our community. A sad story of somebody that fell so far. You know, you're a police officer. You feel like you're the last person that should have this problem. But you know what he probably should have done a long time ago is ask for help. In Dunedin, Kendra Conlin, 10 News, WTSP. Smith is now facing grand theft and drug possession charges. Arrested Wednesday night, he is already out of jail.